everybody and welcome to the fantastic fabulous and fantabulous session by vedantu 9th and 10th english my name is pritesh i'm your host your dos and a proud master teacher from vedantu welcoming you to your very 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 interesting and amazing chapter control and coordination from grade 10 in which today we'll be discussing the introduction neuron structure and the functions along with the central nervous system that is cns so without any further delay let me begin by asking you that why do you think is control and coordination required human body is a very very complex structure we have got different processes going on in our body at the same time for example at this particular instant my muscles of the face are working because i'm talking my tongue is working my eyes are working my hands are working my uh, heart is beating my kidneys are functioning my liver is working my brain is working there are so many works happening in the human body at one particular period of time that there has to be someone to control it there has to be someone to regulate to monitor to moderate all the different processes that are taking place for that we need a control system various system of the body needs to function in coordination to maintain the homeostasis homeostasis is a condition where everything is going on perfect in one's body two methods of control in the body control and coordination in humans is one the nervous control and second is the chemical control the nervous control includes your brain and the spinal cord and the nerves and the chemical control is the hormones which also you will be learning in this chapter the nervous control system the organ system of animals made of brain spinal cord and nerves uh, controls and coordinates different activities of the bodies whereas uh, you have also got a hormone system about which we'll be learning so there are different kinds of receptors receptor means the one that receives the impulse the ones that receives the message for example when a friend pricks you a pin so there are receptor cells on your skin that receive that sensation of pricking and send it to the brain and then brain takes the required action there are taste receptors on your tongue there are fano receptors in your ear there are olfactory receptors in your nose there are auditory receptors in your eyes so there are different receptors which uh, you know perform different functions photoreceptors for visual uh, stimulus thermo receptors for touch and heat and pain you've got olfactory receptors for the smell and you've got gustatory receptors for the taste you have to memorize these terms phono receptors photo receptors thermo receptors olfactory receptors and gustatory receptors which are different receiving uh, sensations different receiving cells in different parts of your body like the phono receptors are in your ears photo in the eyes thermo on the skin or factory in the nose and gustatory on the tongue just like the entire human body is made up of cells cell is the functional unit of the body similarly or of the organism similarly nephron is the functional unit of the kidneys alveolar uh, alveoli are the functional unit of the respiratory system similarly neuron which is the longest cell of the human body is the functional unit of the nervous system responsible for complex and control and coordination neuron is the longest cell of the human body made of cell body also called as the cyton and exon The cyton are the star-shaped structure which contains the nucleus and the cell organelles. Let me tell you one very interesting thing over here. Neurons do not have centrioles. Centriole is the part of the cell that initiates the cell division, and that is why neurons can never divide. And because neurons can never divide, that is why you have to take too much of care of your nervous system because any damage to the neuron. can have a very great impact on the body and that damage is permanent because neurons cannot divide themselves they have got the tentacle like dendrites which uh, are protruding out of the margin which receive the nerve impulse and then you have got the stem like axon which is the tail of the neuron having hair like structures called the axon terminals so these are the axon terminals this 
stem like this tail like structure is the exon this upper part is the cyton also called as the cell body and the horns like on the cyton are the dendrons you have also called the myelin sheath so you can see these sausage like gray color structures they are called as the myelin sheath the neurons with the myelin sheath have greater efficiency in transferring the signals to the nervous system you've got three types of neuron the motor neuron sensory neuron and the interneuron the motor neuron takes the impulse or the message or the signal from the outside to the central nervous system then it relays it to the sensory neuron through the interneuron and the sensory neuron takes the you know sensory neuron okay so it's the other way around i'm so sorry sensory neuron they receive signal from the sense organ and give it to the central nervous system the sent uh, the sensory neuron gives the signal to the interneuron interneuron gives it to the motor neuron and motor neuron acts and motor neuron acts so it is sensory to inter inter to motor motor to reaction right so if suppose if suppose your friend has just pricked you with a pin so the sensory neuron will take the signal to the interneuron in the central nervous system the sensory neuron will give it to the interneuron interneuron will pass it to the motor neuron motor neuron will give it to the muscle cell and you will take the re uh, required action synapse the point of contact between two neurons is called as the synapse or the synapse right there is a gap between two uh, neurons there is a slight gap which is called as the synaptic cleft right transmission of the nerve impulse so the dendrites receive it they give it to the cyton cyton passes it through the exon exon gives it to the exon terminals or the nerve endings they give it to the next uh, they give it they, it passes through the synapse to the dendrite of the next neuron so that is how impulse travels from one neuron to the next it is dendrites receive it give it to the cyton cyton gives it to the exon exon gives it to the nerve endings and that gives it to the synapse and the dendrite of the next neuron the point where a muscle fiber comes in contact with a motor neuron carrying nerve impulse from the control nervous from the central nervous system so it is the sensory neuron that receives the impulse motor neuron which reacts to the impulse when i talk about the central nervous system of humans it has got cns pns and ans cns is the central nervous system which consists of the brain and the spinal cord and pns is the peripheral nervous system which has your all the nerves and ans is the autonomic nervous system made of sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system now there is a quiz which is given in the description box whatever we learn today about the nervous system about the neuron about the synapse about the nerve impulse about the sensory neuron motor neuron association neuron about the receptors the phono photo gustatory olfactory uh, and the thermoreceptors whatever we learned all of these amazing questions will be asked in the quiz the link to the quiz is given in the description below so make sure that you attend the quiz apart from that we have also started an, an amazing ntsc crash course for grade 9th and 10th which you can join for a very very nominal price by using the coupon code prepro now this ntsc crash course gives you 30 live interactive classes assessment tests or quizzes from the top master teachers live doubt solving live gamification in the classes and topic wise assignments it will be for maths math science and social studies you'll be learning from the best teachers in the country who have mastered the uh, you know the competitive exams that is renu ma'am ravjot sir and sandeep sharma sir and you might get a chance to get selected in the ntsc exam right so you the classes are starting from the 13th of june at 7 pm so enroll now and also guys do not forget to use this coupon code prepro which will help you to get a discount With that guys we come to the end thank you so much for being such a wonderful audience today do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up subscribe to vidantu 9th at english keep watching take care god bless you bye bye